the strategy, the creative, the platforms, and the results. And the results actually are very interesting as we now are in a multi-platform, multi-screen uh, world and um, age and gender and things all come into play. And so that's why the title of this is how, the, how to market this in the changing landscape of television. And quite honestly, television is always changing. And um, from the time where I was sitting in your place to where it is right now, a vast change has gone on. The other thing is that a way that the Olympics get sold is different than most other television. Most other television is sold now on demographics, either adults 18 to 49, um, women 18 to 49, 25 to 54, 18 to 34, these sort of breakdowns of demographics. For some reason that I still actually don't quite understand, the Olympics is sold on households. So there's a certain household guarantee. It doesn't matter how, how many is in the household, but the best way to get a household number is because the older people watch more than the younger people, is to get legions of the old. So you try to get as many old people as you can. On the other hand, that, so that, you do that for financial objectives. The most important audience that you go after is basically 12 to 34 because those people are people who are experiencing the Olympics for the first time, perhaps. They may think of the Olympics as an important event, but maybe no more important than, say, the, the MTV Music Awards or, or the Grammys or anything else. They don't necessarily think of it, the, the life doesn't go on hold, as it does for people over 35, because there is some memory buildup of positive memories about the Olympics. So one of the things we try to do is to capture young people. Now we create these things called snipes, and these just run across shows to, um, as shows are going on, and to say that the Olympics are coming, we can do a variety of different ways. Here's an ice skater, I think, coming across there, and then we, ch we change it into a guy. And then, um, then that, it, it again, it says Sochi Olympics. I think we maybe have a curler that's going to come across the screen here. So, no, it's a speed skater. We did have a curler. I think we probably left him out. Um, and uh, then the, there's something else. I think there's a, uh, a skier that comes in skiing and gets eaten by the metal. And um, then it's, it's a, that's what those metals sort of looked like. And then we had one other one that was basically a little bit bigger to, that really sort of dominated the screen. This was mostly used for sports. But these things we encouraged all the networks to run over their program material themselves, to not just take their inventory, but actually run over the shows and to be a little bit more intrusive that you can't um, avoid those. If you DVR, they still are there.